So you've learned about adjusting your camera when you're in manual mode, and now you want to look into purchasing some lenses. Today I'll show you the top features to look for when you're purchasing a lens. First, focal length. Measured in millimeters, there are lenses available with a focal length of 10 millimeters, and there are telephotos with more than 500 millimeters. Now that is a lot of zoom. There are even zoom lenses that have a range and allow you to zoom in or out while you're shooting. Of all the factors to think about when you're buying a lens, you should definitely start here because it'll have the greatest effect on your photos. Coming in second, aperture. If you're thinking about taking shots of fast moving objects or shooting in low light situations, you're going to need a lot of light hitting your sensor. A wide aperture certainly allows you to achieve this. If you're buying a zoom lens though, make sure to be careful about the aperture of your lens when it is zoomed all the way into the maximum focal length. Coming in third is stabilization. With Canon cameras having stabilization built into the lens, you're going to want to make sure to pay attention to whether or not your lens comes with stabilization. If you're going to be shooting at slower shutter speeds without a tripod, you're going to want to look into some stabilization. Some lenses come without stabilization, but you should read reviews to find out whether it's actually required to get sharp images. In fourth is focus distance. What kind of photos are you looking to take? Do you want to take close-up or macro shots? When looking at lenses, you're going to need to know how far away from something you need to be for the lens to focus. If you find that the lenses you need for the focus distance you want are too expensive, you can always try out a set of less expensive macro filters. Fifth is lens build quality. This isn't exactly a spec of the lens, but you will find it posted in reviews. Are parts of the lens made of metal? How strong is the plastic? These are some questions that you should be asking when you're looking at reviews. Here's where you need to make a decision. You need to find the right balance between durability and price. Now finally, one more thing to think about. Do you really need to buy a Canon brand lens? This goes the same for Nikon, Sony, and Panasonic cameras. There are other manufacturers such as Tamron and Sigma that will offer you similar quality to a Canon or Nikon brand lens. Now there are some drawbacks, and for that you should read the reviews of these lenses. Well, thanks for watching. That concludes this 50mm series. Next week, you'll get to see a surprise unboxing. Until then, go shoot some photos.